Hi sweeties! Welcome back to my channel. If this is your first time, then welcome. Please subscribe so I can keep bringing you more great content. Today, we're going to talk about canola oil. So, I did a video a couple of weeks ago and I used canola oil to um, roast some uh, cabbage and some sausage and a viewer said canola oil is the worst. It's the worst. It's like, oh, you know, this is not the first time I've, you know, heard something like, oh, canola is so bad for you. But then, you know, a few weeks later, I talked to my dad and he's like, oh, canola oil is so good for you. I heard it's so good for you. It's got omega-3s in it. Okay. So what's the deal? Is it good for you or is it bad for you? Let's uh, break it down. So first of all, what is canola oil? Canola oil comes from the rapeseed plant. Um, they've changed the name to canola oil because it was developed in Canada. So can for Canada, ola uh, for oil. And honestly, of course you have to change it because who wants to buy rapeseed oil? Nobody. Um, so it's from this rapeseed plant and it produces an oil um, that is a high in omega-3s. We'll get to all that later. Uh, but it has to be modified because straight rapeseed oil has high erucic acid in it, about 43% erucic acid. So the plant has to be modified to reduce that erucic acid so that it can be uh, usable for humans. How do you reduce that erucic acid? Well, either you cross breed it, hybridize the plant so that you can make it uh, you know, with the trace that you want lower in erucic acid, which is how it was originally made. But now most canola oil you find um, is made with genetic modification. And that's using, you know, taking traits from one organism and inserting it into another organism. So that erucic acid is reduced in you know one of those ways and that is part of the reason why canola oil has such a bad reputation is that a lot of people are um, opposed to using uh, GMO products now honestly it doesn't really bother me but you know it's understandable maybe people just don't feel like you know it's quite safe enough for them but that's why um, the canola oil, the rapeseed oil has to be modified. So another reason people are a little bit, you know, wary of canola oil is that it's um, chemically processed. The, the chemical hexane is used to help um, produce lots of oil from the rapeseed seeds. Um, in many cases, not all cases, some processors expel or press or press out the oil uh, from the rapeseed plant, but most of the oil is used, um, is made by using um, the chemical hexane to uh, produce the oil. So that's another reason why people are um, maybe uncomfortable with it. So now why would some people say that it's good for you? Well, some people say it's good for you because it's high in omega-3s, and that's, I mean, that's provable, it's true. It's very high, it's comparable to olive oil when it comes to omega-3s. Omega-3 fatty acids and omega-3s have been, um, uh, people feel that like omega-3s help to reduce the risk of heart disease and cancer. And it also is low in saturated fats and high in monounsaturated fats. Another great thing for your heart. So it has, you know, a, canola oil has some features that people think are negative and then some that people think are positive. So does the good outweigh the bad? Uh, well, that depends on, you know, how you feel about it. So if you are concerned about using canola oil that is genetically modified um like say this this is your normal store brand or you know major brand canola oil it's you know chemically processed or um, genetically modified so if you are 
skeptical and worried about that, you can find canola oil that is non-GMO, organic, and Expeller Press. This is from Whole Foods. Um, none of this is sponsored, by the way. This is just trying to share some information. So you can find canola oil that, you know, if you're not worried about modifications, it's cheap and high in omega-3s. So it's got that heart healthy fats for you. If you are concerned about the uh, modifications, then you can find, it's a little more expensive, but not ridiculously so, um, canola oil that is not genetically modified and expeller pressed, so it's mechanically, the oil is pressed out of the seeds. So you've got some great options. Um, and I think one of the best features is that canola oil is neutral in flavor and it's low in price. So when you're doing something like, say, frying chicken, and you need to use a significant amount of oil for that, you know, you don't want to spend, you know, $40 on oil. So you want to find something that's low in cost and also neutral flavor. You know, you might not want to use something like an olive oil if you're making Korean fried chicken. You just don't want that flavor of olive to you know get into the chicken it maybe doesn't go with what you're cooking so you want something that is a neutral flavor and also affordable so that's also on the plus side uh, for canola oil now if you are of concern if say you buy the um, the store brand or the you know big brand canola oils and you use it occasionally, you know, you can also use a variety of different oils for different um, cooking methods. So if you're just using a little bit of oil to saute, then, you know, you use something like, say, grapeseed oil, which might be more expensive, but you're only using a tablespoon or two at a time. And then, you know, you're going to look for something that's, you know, expeller pressed or non-GMO. So you can mix and match your oils in the kitchen. You don't have to just use one thing. That's my um, tip for it. I think that you know, my takeaway is that canola oil is good for you. Um, again, it's high in omega-3s, high in monounsaturated fats, and low in saturated fats, neutral flavor, and it's affordable. I think those are all good things. If you are concerned about GMO products, like I said, you can find canola oil that is not uh, gen genetically modified and expeller pressed. So I think that's the bottom line. And um, I hope that you will, um, that you found this information helpful. If you have, please share the video and please subscribe and have a delicious day.